हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल दिस इज रोहित फ्रेंड्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ टू क्रिएट स्प्लैश स्क्रीन इन एंड्रॉयड स्टूडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट इज स्प्लैश स्क्रीन देन वी विल अंडरस्टैंड विच डिफरेंट कंसेप्ट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज इन ऑर्डर टू क्रिएट द स्प्लैश स्क्रीन एंड एट एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू प्रैक्टिकल डेमोन्स्ट्रेशन रिगार्डिंग क्रिएशन ऑफ स्प्लैश स्क्रीन so let's start the video by understanding what is splash screen and why we use splash screen within our applications so android splash screen is the first screen which is visible to the user whenever application is launched application is started by the user so this splash screen is used for displaying certain basic introductory information regarding the company so we may display logo of company we may display tag line or we may display any other information and during this the app will load the other necessary settings other necessary files other necessary data whichever it will require so this is basically the first screen which user try to see whenever he launch the application during the time for which splash screen will be shown to the user we may load certain database data or we may fetch certain files which will be used by application whenever it will be launch successfully so this is basically the purpose of splash screen so splash screen is a constant screen which appears for specific amount of time in front of user and generally this screen shows for the first time whenever app will be launched by the user now i will show you certain examples of splash screen now here in this picture you can observe different splash screens for different applications so popularly you can observe there is a google drive twitter dropbox youtube amazon so generally all these applications are showing their logo and company name you can observe here this is the logo of google drive and below to that you can see the company name google okay so and you can see generally this splash screens are shown uh, with the full screen so there will be no any title bar available in this splash screen okay so you can see all these are different types of splash screen so such type of screen we may create for our application as well so in today's video we are going to create the simple splash screen okay so now let's try to discuss what concepts we are going to use within this application within this video so first concept that we are going to use here is post delay function now what is purpose of this post delay function so this function basically delays the process for specific period of time for specific amount of time so if you want to delay the process by specific uh, number of seconds then you can use this post delay function so why we are using this function within this uh, splash screen because we want to start our main activity after loading of splash screen so we want to delay the loading of our main activity and to do that we are using this post delay function over here so this is the function okay public final boolean post delayed it requires two parameters first one is the runnable object token and second one is the delay within the milliseconds so this function we are going to call with help of the handler now we will create the object of handler first of all and through that object we are going to call this post delay function so basically handler we are using here for sending and processing the messages and the runnable objects which will be associated with the threads message queue so here each handler instance will be treated as a single thread 
okay so first of all remember here we are going to create the object of handler and then we are going to call this post delayed function now within this post delayed function we are going to create the run method and within that we will use the explicit intent okay so this is basically the first concept we are going to use here now second concept as i told you splash screen are basically having no title bar or they are having full screen so to do that we are going to try this little code here so this will remove the action bar okay from our splash screen activity and as we are uh, including it in try block so obviously there will be a catch block so this is the code that we are going to try here for uh, removing the title bar or action bar from our activity so our activity will be having full screen okay now i will summarize the steps over here what we are going to do here in order to create the splash screen first of all we will create a android project as usual second step we are going to do we are going to create one layout file over here now this layout file will consist our logo of application logo of our company okay so that design we are going to create here in third step we are going to create one java file and uh, within this java file we are going to create the handler and through this handler we are going to call this post delayed function now uh, now you know the purpose of post delayed function because we want to delay the launching of our main activity by certain seconds okay so that's why we are using this post delayed function and at last we will move the intent filter to the splash screen activity why because first of all whenever user will launch our app the splash screen should be the first activity which will appear in front of user that's why to do that we will move the intent filter from main activity to splash screen activity okay so if you don't do this step what will happen your main activity will get start by default and splash screen activity will not be started so to avoid that we have to move the intent filter tag to the splash screen activity and this last step we will do within the android manifest file okay so these are the generalized steps that we are going to follow while creating this splash screen activity here now friends i will take you to the android studio where i have already created this project splash screen demo and uh, you can see now we got this hello world activity over here and this is the java file we have now first of all here i am going to rename this okay so this is the text okay which i have edited and uh, we will change the text size here so it will be visible so here we will set the text size 24 or i will try 34 okay now you can see here and i will change the text color here okay and uh, now next to that we are going to create now splash screen within this project okay so as i discuss this step we are going to add now layout file for our splash screen so here what i will do i will go to the resource directory and in layout directory you can see right now there is only one file activity main so here i will right click on layout directory and i will go to new and here you can see layout resource file so this layout resource file i am going to select here so next to that it will ask the name of a resource file so here i will specify splash screen splash screen okay layout this is name of my file and we will click on okay now here you can see we got this another layout file now this is the white background right now so we are going to modify this 
file now in order to create the splash screen so first of all i am going to create one background here so let's say background and we will use this purple color okay so let's see how it will look like now you can see now it is looking like this purple color and we may try one sample image over this screen or i will simply use one text over here so let's try to add one text view here so here i am adding this text view at the center of screen and i will set the constant for this okay so friends here you may use uh, image as well if you want and now i'm going to change the text here so i will put my name okay so this is how it is looking and now we will change the text size here so little bit larger we will make it okay and next to that certain textile we will apply let's say bold okay this is how it is looking and now we will add one icon here okay some sample icon i am going to select so this android icon itself i will select here now you can see this is how we have created this splash screen this is logo and below to that we have name of our brand whatever we have so i will reduce its size little bit okay so this is how now we have created now i will try to change the color here we will make it black and for this text we will try a different color so here we will specify white color okay now you can see here this is how our screen is looking like now okay so here our design is completed okay now next to that third step we are going to do now friends here as per your requirement you can customize this design here i have just assumed this simple concept one logo and one text okay so next step here we are going to do is adding the class file here okay so i will right click on java directory or i will right click on package directory and i will select this java class and name of my class will be splash screen splash screen okay so we will hit enter now here the class is created you can see this is what the basic file we got now within this file we are going to write the actual logic with handler so what i will do first of all as it will be a activity i will extend it with app compact activity class app compact activity class and within this now first of all i will create the on create method protected 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 on create and uh, within this now first of all we will set the content view so we have created this layout file splash screen layout okay which is defining our splash screen layout so that file we are going to specify here 
so i will write here r dot layout dot splash screen layout okay so layout is set now now next to that here we will create the handler okay so how to create handler so right handler handler and this will be the name of our object let's say my handler okay is equal to new handler now here handler is ready now next to that we will call now post delayed function here post delayed function we will try to call here okay so for that i will write here my handler object my handler dot post delayed and first parameter will be new runnable and it is providing the implementation of run as you know we are going to consider this as a instance of thread that's why we have this runnable interface and run method now within this run method first of all we are going to create the explicit intent explicit intent now you know the explicit intent is basically used for jumping from one activity one activity to another activity okay so for that we are going to create here explicit intent so in order to do that i will write here intent intent let's say i is equal to new intent now this requires two parameters first one is the context in which you are working and second one is the class name so on which activity you want to jump so we have to specify the class file of that activity okay so let's try to specify the first parameter to specify first parameter we may directly specify the java file name dot this or we may specify the get application context method so here i'm going to use get application context method okay now next to that second parameter the class file name so the activity on which you want to jump so here we have to jump on main activity so here i'm going to specify main activity dot class okay this is how we have created the intent and next to that we will use the start activity method so start activity and it requires the object of intent so object of intent is i and after which we are going to use finish function and this is how we have completed the logic within this run okay now next to that second parameter for this post delayed function we have to specify so friends here understand this is the first parameter okay up to this this is the first parameter whatever i have selected now we have to specify second parameter which is number of milliseconds by which you want to delay the process so let's say we will specify 5000 as a value so it will define 5 seconds so our main activity will be displayed after 5 seconds so splash screen will be available in front of user for 5 number of second you can change this seconds as per your requirement okay now friends this is what the code we have here in the splash screen java file now one more thing is remaining first of all i will show you if we run this application how splash screen will look like and then we will try to change this code okay now we are at step number three that created java file and use the handler with the post delayed function now one last step is remaining that is adding the intent filter tag for our splash screen activity so as i told we have to modify the manifest file over here so i will go to the app manifest and i will open this android manifest.xml file now within this file right now you can see there is a activity 
tag available and this activity tag is basically representing the main activity you can see here dot main activity so this dot is basically representing the class file so and you can see here there is a intent filter tag so this intent filter tag is actually defining that this activity will be a launcher activity so whenever user will tab on our icon app icon this activity will get run first of all so we are going to move this intent filter tag to our splash screen activity so i will cut this okay and now here i am going to create new entry so let's say activity and name of our activity is you can see splash screen and exported will be true okay and within this now we are going to paste this intent filter tag that's it now whenever we will run our app this activity will be launched first of all not this activity why because we have placed this intent filter within this splash screen activity so friends whichever activity you want to run first of all within that activity you can place this intent filter due to which it becomes a launcher activity so right now we have made this activity as a launcher activity why because we have placed this intent filter over here okay now friends our coding is completed and i will now launch our app so to do that i will connect my mobile phone so friends here i have connected my mobile phone and now we will launch our app so friends here the build process is completed and now here you can see it is asking for installation so we will tab on install and now you can see it is showing this splash screen but at top you can see there is a action bar also okay and now after 5 seconds we got this welcome to application screen now if i show you if i launch this application if i launch this application again you can see at top it is showing this action bar so we have to remove that action bar okay so to do that we will open our splash screen java file and here we are going to add the code for removing action bar from activity so for that we will write here try followed by catch and here we will have null pointer exception e now within this we are going to specify get supported action bar dot hide okay so this code will be used for removing action bar from our activity okay now what we will do we will relaunch our app okay so here we will relaunch our app and we will try to see the change now friends now friends here you can see our splash screen is loaded with the full screen if i show you it again i will close this app and again i will start this app now you can see the splash screen is loaded with the full screen there is no action bar 
after 5 seconds we are getting redirected to this main activity welcome to application so this is how we have created a splash screen within the project so friends if you find this video useful please like and share this video i will see you in next video thank you for watching